Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to learn how to do the knit stitch which is also sometimes called the waistcoat stitch. And we are going to be working this stitch today in a round. Uh, if you take a look at some of my other tutorials here on YouTube, you will also find a tutorial on how to work it in a row where you are working back and forth. Today we will work the stitch uh, in a continuous motion all the way around without turning our work. So this is called the knit stitch or the waistcoat stitch. I prefer to call it the knit stitch because it reminds me so much of knitting. I'm a little bit of a knitter wannabe and so when I work the stitch it kind of satisfies that craving and that desire I have to have a knit look in some of my crochet projects. So today we are going to learn how to work the knit stitch in a round. For the tutorial today, I will be using a worsted weight acrylic yarn and I'll be working with a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. When you're working the knit stitch, it's really important that you keep your stitches nice and loose and you'll see why when we actually start to work the stitch. So sometimes it's good to go up uh, maybe half a hook size or a full hook size if you want to keep your tension a little bit looser than you normally would in crochet. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to start by chaining 25 stitches. And if you are crocheting along with me, uh, feel free to go ahead and start that now. You're going to chain 25 stitches and then you're going to jo join in the first chain with a slip stitch. Once you have worked your 25 chains, without twisting that chain, you're going to join in the first stitch with a slip stitch, chain one, and then you are going to very loosely, again, very, very loose, keep your tension nice and light. You're going to work one single crochet stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through both loops. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you do not need to join when you get to the end of that round. You can if you would like, uh, but for the tutorial today you will not need to. So go ahead, work one single crochet stitch in each chain all the way around. Okay, so I've worked one single crochet stitch in each chain all the way around and I'm now back to the beginning here and I'm not going to worry about joining my work here. Now for the second round of single crochet st uh, or a second round of stitches, I'm going to start working the knit stitch. Now the knit stitch, simply put, is a single crochet stitch that is worked through the stem or the center of the single crochet stitch below it. So if you take a look at my work, this is my first right here single crochet stitch in the round. Normally when you work a single crochet stitch, you will work it under these top two V's. You would just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's how you would normally work a single crochet stitch. But to get the knit stitch, instead of sticking your hook through those top V's, you're going to stick it through the center of the post. So on your stitch, you're going to see a, on the front of it, a V here on the front of your work. You are going to insert your hook through that V, and sometimes I find it easier to insert it on an angle all the way through, and then you are going to complete your single crochet stitch or what it would be a single crochet stitch but this is your knit stitch so you will complete your stitch like you would a single crochet if <laughs> that makes sense so then you can see because you've worked through the center of the post of the stitch 
it creates this little V there. I'm going to show you once more on the next stitch. So you're going to insert your hook not under the top two loops, but through the center of the post of the single crochet below. So right here between these two uh, vertical strands, insert your hook. You may have to wiggle it in there a little bit. I find it helps if you insert it on a diagonal. You're going to yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through. And that is all there is to the knit stitch. And you can see because you're working in the post of the stitch, that is why it's so vital to keep your stitches nice and loose because you want a little bit of wiggle room there for your hook to go through. So you're just working a stitch that's like a single crochet stitch, but through the center of the post of the stitch below. And that is all there is to this stitch. And if I am not joining at the end of each round, I am just going to keep going around and around and around uh, working my knit stitches in the posts of the stitch below. So insert in the post of the stitch below. And that's it. So thank you very much for joining me for this quick tutorial. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're interested in learning how to work the knit stitch in a row, because it is slightly different, feel free to hop on over to that video there as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy crocheting. Bye.